your boy here again and today I've got my next review for you out of my ultralight pack. Today we're going to be reviewing my quilt, the Catabatic Gear Palisade 30 degree quilt. Stick around because it's going to be awesome. So let's unpack my quilt out of my dry bag. It's in there. Now in here, there's more than just my quilt. There's my gloves and my beanie, which we're not gonna review, my booties, my thermal pants, and then here is the beautiful quilt. Oh, there's the cords there as well. We'll talk about those later. So I'll review that later. It's a dry bag, which is also a, um, a pillow inside out. That's pretty good. Um, so here is the quilt. This is the uh, six foot long quilt, um, and I got it in the wide. Um, so, I'm gonna cover likes and dislikes. So, the first thing that I like about this quilt is that it's rated to 30 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is um, minus one degree Celsius, and I can get pretty close to that. I can get down to about two degrees, or about maybe 35 degrees Fahrenheit, before I start feeling a little cold. So that's a positive. I'm a very cold sleeper, and this bag is regarded as being very warm, and it is. Um, but I can't quite get to its limit, but I can get close, which is much better than other bags that I've owned, like Enlightened Equipment and Sierra Designs. So that's one thing that I love about it. One of the reasons it is so warm is because the whole bag is differential cut. So if you can see that, you can see that when you're, hardly hmm, hard to see, Basically, the inside of it, inside shell, is smaller than the outside shell. So, what that ends up doing is it creates like a three dimensionality. See how when I let, let that fall down like that, it sort of puffs around like a cocoon. It's like literally sitting there like a three dimensional cocoon because the inside baffle is, uh, shell is actually smaller. So, it sort of tends to arc up in a, like a circle already. So, um, it's very, very good. Here we go. If I turn it upside down, you can probably see that also as well. See? They sort of tend to up, um, sort of arch up like that, like, like hips on a woman. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, um, other thing I like about it is the quantum fabric. This fabric, it's not as thin as, say, an enlightened equipment fabric. I'm not actually what sure the denier is on this, but it feels like maybe 15 denier, I think that's what it is, versus 10 denier or 7 denier on the enlightened equipment quilts and other brand quilts and bags. Um, so it's a little bit thicker, but it just tends to trap more heat, I find, and it's very comfortable against skin. Well, that's not the side of your skin, that's the, that's the sides of your skin. So it's very soft, very comfortable. My one here is a bit sort of wrinkly at the moment because it's been in a stuff sack probably for too long, for maybe a couple of days or a few weeks. Uh, other thing I like about it is um, it's, um, I've had the foot box wet many times up against the end of my duplex tent and um, it hasn't really got wet. It's got pretty good DWR on it, durable waterproof repellent, and the um, 850 fill down in there, because I just got the regular 850 fill water resistant down. It has never got wet, even if the fabric has got a little bit wet through. It doesn't seem to, and so that it stayed lofty. So um, it's got good resistance to, to moisture, particularly in the foot box. Um, the straps, these straps, these are really good. They're very lightweight. Um, the way that they work, is you use my pad, which I've reviewed earlier, and I've actually marked marks on the pad uh, where these straps need to go. So you basically tie the straps around your pad where you've marked it, like this. You just do it up pretty tight. And then you, uh, once you've tied, tied the knot, like that. Yep. Or however you can do it, you just spin that round like that, and then you do the other one. Okay, so once you put the straps on, one there and one there, with my markers that I, with uh, permanent marker that I've put on there, then you can put your put your pad on, and um, they're very good. So the straps are very good. So on the left hand side, we can do this little snap up here. On the left hand side, you basically there's two positions. Yep, so there's this first position, the big hole there. Um, that's the one that you normally run it through, it's quite loose. And then there's a really tiny one that you can lock it down in. That loose one's easy to use, but it's quite slippery. 
but when you put it in the lockdown one, it doesn't move, but it's really hard to get into the lockdown position. Okay. So I just put it on the loose one there at the, top, at the moment. The loose one and loose one. And then you'd come over here and put this one on the loose one and the loose one as well. So, loose one and then the loose one, the big one. Okay. So, it's easy to move them backwards and forwards either way. So that's good as if it's not too cold um, and then you can pretty much keep it wide or even unsnap one of them if you want to have that so it's nice and open or even unsnap both sides. So that's pretty good. I like I like that. That, work, that In that position those snaps work well. If it gets really cold you can put this extra lock on here so that like these like mitten hooks and the idea is that it basically has two positions uh, or two contact points on that sort of string um, and that means that you've got like a double overhead sort of, if you're looking at it from uh, this side so if you're looking at it from this side you've got a, the, the latch locked down there and then the second position there so you've got quite a big sort of buffer zone that your body's sort of laying on so it really reduces the chance of, um, of drafts coming in you see there's the two positions um, so the outside box, so basically there's this big solid thing here that stops or reduces um, drafts. Uh, so I like that about the system as well. So that's really good. So it really minimizes drafts. Um, and the last cool thing that I like about this, um, this bag is the neck baffle. See, it's got this really nice fluffy neck baffle around here. And so that's, that's really beautiful on your neck. If I just bring that up a bit closer. See, it comes up around your neck. Ooh, that feels good. Uh, yep. So another great feature of this quilt is the massive, big, hunger dunger snap here. It's really secure. So, so it locks in like that. And um, you can even cinch down the thing here and the neck gator comes around you like that's beautiful another great feature of this quilt is when the uh, straps are attached to the pad and then the quilt is attached to the straps like they are particularly in the lockdown mode so the quilt doesn't move on it the quilt stays stationary and you can turn and swivel inside it like a blanket and that's ideal so you don't get like your mouth caught up or the bag roll around and twist it up so let me demonstrate that to you now See how the bag stayed still, or the quilt stayed still, and I just turned inside it. So like a pea, pea turning inside the pod. Um, if I just loosen this off a little bit more, you might be able to see that just a little bit better. So, see how the quilt stays the same, in the same position? Maybe even if I unlock this snap you'll be able to see it even better see so this quilt stays there see, that's that edge stays there and see there's the two positions so they're the things i really like about the catabatic uh, gear uh quilt so what don't i like about it okay so the first thing I don't like is that it was over spec, overweight over its spec by one and a half ounces. It is always a bit disappointing when you're expecting 21 ounce lightweight quilt and it comes in at 23 ounces. So I might have got more value for my money, but I didn't like the extra weight. But anyway, uh, so that's the first thing I didn't like about it, but it's okay, it's still lightweight. Um, second thing I don't like about it is it, do it doesn't get me quite down to zero degrees. I've had it down, I've slept in it several, several times at very low temperatures or what I consider low temperatures here in Australia at, and at about two degrees I was quite comfortable just with a base layer, a couple of layers on, not too much, 
But when a couple of other nights I went down to zero and minus one and minus two and I was cold. I was really cold. Even though I had extra clothes on and puffy and all that sort of stuff, I was still cold. Um, so I'm a bit disappointed it's not a little bit warmer. Um, so I don't like that about it. So it is good, but it's not quite as good as I'd hoped in terms of it keeping me warm. The other thing I don't like about it is um, trying to use these these um, little latches into the very small hole. It's really, really, really hard to get in. You've got to like, like reef it. Once it's in, it doesn't move. That's great. And then you can put the second position on. I like the second uh, mitten hook on. And then it doesn't move. But boy, golly, jeepers. Getting that first position, that getting the cord into that tiny little hole requires like like distorting yourself and trying to lift it up and, and that's all the harder when your fingers are cold and it's you know you you're grumpy and you're trying to go to sleep and you're trying to wrestle with this thing sometimes you feel like you're having a yeah like a wrestling match so it's really difficult to get it in but once it's locked in it's good but you don't want to move it either so you don't want to move your position and the final thing that I don't like about this bag is I got the wide bag but when I, it's cold and you lap that in there and on the fixed position, you latch that in there. And because I like to sleep on my side with my leg up sort of like this, I kind of like to sleep on my side, like I showed in my review of this Thermarest fad. And I like to bring this leg up here. When I've got it pulled in, even though I've got the wide pad, it's too restrictive down here. And I can't bring my leg up there. So I'm pretty much locked in like a little, you know, um, little bug in a rug and I can't pull my leg up so I don't like that about it. There we go, that's my review of the um, Catabatic Palisades. Um, I do love it um, but I've realised that any quilt, and this is regarded as the very best quilt you can get and this is the very most popular model, the 30 degree one, even this quilt is still not good for me when you get down to freezing degrees. Because even though I had it tucked right in, right up like that, I still got cold. It wasn't actually drafty, but it was um, just heat was just leaking out either through the pad or, you know, it wasn't necessarily drafty, but it was just not sealed in. It wasn't capturing every possible bit of heat the way a mummy sleeping bag would and keeping it in close to my body. So uh, I've realized that quilts are great for me when they're about two degrees or 35 degrees and above but um, it's back to a mummy sleeping bag uh, for anything below freezing for me. And I'm gonna try a Mont Bell down hugger bag, number two probably, yellow bag. So I'm gonna see how that goes. So how much do I give this quilt out of 10? I'll give it a seven and a half. It is really good, although I'm in a bit disappointed that it doesn't really take me down to freezing and below because I was freezing my backside off up in the Blue Mountains a couple of weeks when it got down to minus two and my mate forgot his sleeping bag. So if you, if you haven't seen that video, watch it now. Anyway, that's my review. Blue Boy, out.